Hey everyone, my name is Jake. I'm a mechanical engineer and I'm here with the knowledge that you need to graduate with any degree you want. Today we're going to talk about a problem that affects most students at some point in their careers and that problem is self-doubt. So let me ask you something. Has school ever made you feel stupid? Aww. I'm guessing the answer is probably yes, right? At least once or twice, maybe more. Um, you know, has your professor ever been up at the whiteboard teaching or someone ever tried to explain something to you that just made you feel like you must have missed a few classes somewhere? Or have you ever gotten a test back where you scored way below average and you're just left feeling like a totally incompetent? Um, I've been there, okay? And in this video, we're gonna go over the best ways to get through these situations productively. Let's go. So first and foremost, I wanna emphasize the fact that this happens to everybody, right? Everybody runs into situations from time to time that make them feel a little stupid, maybe even a little incompetent. Um, maybe even every day, okay? I know when I first started school, I felt stupid like every lecture. All right, so just know it happens to everybody. Um, but in this video, I wanna focus on your mental response to these situations because that's what's crucial. So the way I see it, when you're faced with a situation that makes you feel stupid, there's two different ways your mind can respond, okay? There's two different paths your mind can go down. The first path, I like to call it the I can't path, right? It's kind of self-explanatory. So if you go down this path, you assume that you are a little stupid maybe and you allow the situation to produce some self-doubt. And you know, eventually, you know, if you keep going down this path, you'll, uh, it, it, you'll begin to accept your perceived inadequacy and you know, you'll start to perform worse and worse and worse. Or you can go down path two, and we call this the how can I path. So instead of doubting yourself, you just start to at, ask questions like, how can I do better in the future? How can I change my approach to improve my performance next time, you know, uh, you replacing the word can't with the word how, right? So eventually, this path uh, will lead to improvement and better performance. So what about you? Say, say you get a bad grade on an exam. What's your mental response to that, right? What's your self-talk like in those situations? I know when I first started school, you know, my mind would go straight down path one more often than not, right? I'd start saying things like, I can't, it's too hard. Um, I would create a lot of self-doubt, right? Which would then enable my future bad performances, right? It would make my future bad performances okay because I'd expect less from myself. It's kind of a vicious, vicious cycle that begins with you expecting less and then performing badly. You know, it really wasn't until I started to expect more of myself that anything got any better, right? That my performance improved. And that all started with going down path two instead of path one, right? I replaced the word can't with the word how. So then when I would encounter these situations, right, that were that were difficult where I'd feel kind of stupid or that where I'd get a bad score on an exam or something, instead of saying, I can't understand this, I would say, oh, how can I how can I look at this differently to understand it? Or how can I change my approach to do better on the next exam, right? I replaced the word can't with the word how. So you basically I began assuming that there was always a way for me to succeed, I just needed to find it. Okay, so that one's huge, right? So I'll say it again. You must assume that there is always a way for you to succeed, you just need to find it, okay? Because once you do that, basically all of the excuses for poor performance just evaporate. You know, so if you go on path one, the I can't path, right? Basically shuts the door in any sort of future improvement, right? I can't, it's over. Um, but if you go down path two, the how can I path, where, where you assume there's always a way for you to succeed, you just need to find it, your brain will start to cook up these uh, solutions for you, right? When you say, how can I do better? How can I understand this? Your brain will give you uh, answers to those questions. It will breed creativity, right? Um, it's a small change but it, it's huge. I can't overemphasize how huge and, and impactful a change this is. So what about you? You know, which, which path do you guys go down in these situations? When, when you feel a little stupid or maybe you perform badly, do you guys go down path one or path two? Um, you know, next time you're faced with something like this, just know kind of how crucial it is uh, to avoid self-doubt 
and to avoid, you know, future bad performances, you want to make sure you always go down path two, right? Um, small change, but very impactful. I hope you enjoyed that video. You know, I hope you found it a little bit valuable. Uh, let me know what you think, though, in the comments. And, you know, if you want to know more about how to develop a successful mindset in school, be sure to check out my book. I'll put a link for that in the description. But until next time, thanks for watching and keep up the good work.